goes without saying that films have an impact on people. Almost everyone can relate to the sensation of being terrified by a horror movie or swooning at a romance movie. People watch films to be entertained, but also to feel something. Our goal is to delve more into the details of how this impact is achieved, how people are impacted differently, and the implications of a film's impact and perspective. We're going to be arguing that a film's impact is greatly dependent on how controversial it appears. So the more disruptive a film is to traditional narrative, the more impactful. And we will achieve this by analyzing dirty computers and we will achieve this by analyzing Dirty Computer, directed by Janelle Monet, specifically the scene where she performs Pink. This relates to mise-en-scene as it builds the viewer's experience, the gaze as a person's background determines how they engage with the film, and cinematic ethics because film has the power to sway or corrupt a person. And most people understand that movies are not made simply by just filming reality. Even in documentary, there are choices about what gets in the shot and what is left out. In films, everything is put there on purpose. This concept is called mise-en-scène. Coming from the French mise-en-scène, it literally translates to English as put in scene. This literal translation does a lot for the understanding of the concept. Everything in the scene, from the way the actors are standing, to the massive explosions in an action scene, to the way an extra sips a coffee in the background, is placed there intentionally. As Ed Stickoff states in his book, mise-en-scene within the image. Mise-en-scene is the first step in understanding how films produce and reflect meaning. In the film Dirty Computer, there are many different sets and scenes, and the mood of the film changes with every new song. So looking at the mise-en-scene of this movie is particularly difficult, yet interesting. By narrowing it down to one song, Pink, it is possible to see the mise-en-scene more specifically. This scene uses these blush pinks and oranges and an all-female cast. The costumes are pink and feminine, both in the color and at the way they hint at female anatomy. Added all together, this scene oozes with feminine ambiance. This concept of mise-en-scene primes us just to understand how intentional all these choices were and how, when analyzing a movie, it's not far-fetched to look into these choices talk about the gaze, most people think about the male gaze. In visual pleasure and narrative cinema, Laura Mulvey establishes this term and what it means. She writes, in a world ordered by sexual imbalance, pleasure in looking has been split between active male and passive female. The determining male gaze projects its fantasies onto the female figure, which is styled accordingly. In their traditional exhibitionist role, women are simultaneously looked at and displayed, with their appearance coded for strong visual and erotic impact so that they can be said to connote to be looked atness. End quote. Their tradition in cinema has long been that films are created from a specific perspective that accommodates for what a man would like to see. Dirty Computer is impactful in the way that it rejects this dominant ideology and establishes its own gaze. Janelle Monet asks to be looked at, but on her own terms. In these shots, she presents her very existence as a radical act, refusing to be placed in a box. In the scene Pink, she subverts all expectations by taking the over-sexualization of female organs and reducing them to mere anatomy, poking fun at the layers of meaning that a dominantly patriarchal society has placed on womanhood. This has the potential to make spectators uncomfortable as it disrupts the typical narrative. The computer is most relevant in how it interacts with cinematic ethics. As Robert Sinnerbrink discusses, there is much discourse around the way in which cinema can serve as a corrupting force. However, film also has a psychological, cultural, and even politically transformative power to question social reality and empower us to experience and see the world anew." End quote. The way it achieves this is by showing audiences morally confronting, ethically estranging, and emotionally challenging forms of experience that demand some kind of philosophical response on our part, an effort of thinking to which we might otherwise remain oblivious or that we might otherwise prefer to ignore." End quote. Dirty Computer achieves this by exposing us to a futuristic reality in which certain androids are deemed dirty for their evocative lifestyle and involvement in the resistance. These androids are wiped clean of their memories, essentially punished for not conforming and for choosing to exist on their own terms. In Dirty Computer, this also includes Jane, the protagonist, being forced to forget a queer polyamorous relationship. 
If this makes you think of current issues surrounding race, conformity, identity, and sexuality, you're on the right track. Monet uses science fiction to reflect modern issues. These forms of experience force viewers to confront ethical dilemmas and consider their impact. Further, science fiction and cinema can take current anxieties and use them to predict anxieties that will be on the surface in the future. D. Witt Douglas Kilgore, author of Astrofuturism, Science, Race, and Visions of Utopia in Space, discusses this phenomenon. Science fiction, as it is, Practice, in, practice not only can forecast future absence of racism, but also futures in which racism persists, taking on new forms around new lines of difference, end quote. Dirty Computer is a key example of cinematic ethics in its disruptive power to form new channels of thinking. Now we're gonna dive into some reactions and interviews of people with varying knowledge about cinema and see what they think about the scene pink. Hello, uh, my name is Leah. Um, I'm a film student at Concordia University. Um, I'm in my first year and I'm gonna be reacting to this video.